Okay, I'm going to explain this whole thing because it's not what you think. They're not actually camping out on the basketball court for three days. I went to KU, as you can see here, and I went through this whole process of going to the basketball games as a student, so I'm going to explain it. The clip that you saw is called The Lottery. I'll explain that in a second. So if you're unfamiliar with KU basketball, it's a big deal. Allen Fieldhouse is not a huge arena though, and a lot of students like to go to the basketball games. And the student section is general admission, so it's first come, first serve. So this process kind of just makes it more fair so that it's not the same people like sitting in the front row every single time. First, you need a camping group. You'll be with this camping group all season. The more people you have, the better, and I'll explain that in a second. My camping group had like 20 people in it, and you just like do it with your friends or whoever, it doesn't really matter. Lottery takes place the day after a game, which also happens to be the week of a home game. So your whole camping group has to go to this lottery. It's like early in the morning at Allen Fieldhouse, but you have to be there because they draw names. If your group is drawn first, then you get to be first in line for the game, which means you would get to sit in the front row. So whatever you're drawn is whatever place you are in line. So where the camping comes in is for those days leading up to the home game, at least one person in your group has to be at Allen Fieldhouse at all times of the day from like early in the morning until like 8 p.m. at night. This is why it's better to have more people in your camping group because then not as many people have to be at Allen Fieldhouse for as long. You like sign up for shifts and you just go for like an hour or two at a time. I don't think I ever went for longer than like an hour. There's Wi-Fi there, you bring your phone, you bring music, you bring your computer and you can just like work on homework. It's honestly like really not that bad, but somebody has to be there because they do roll calls. And if nobody in your group is there for the roll call, then they will push your group to the end. So if you have a good spot, like if you're number one, two, or three, like you need to be there. Then on the day of the game, you line up in order. You have to stand outside in line, sometimes for like one or two hours. And then when they let you in to Allen Fieldhouse, you have to sit there for like three more hours until the game starts. But the whole process is really fun. It's a really cool tradition and it just kind of makes you feel like you're part of something. I'm sure other big schools have cool traditions like this. Hopefully this cleared some things up. People are not actually camping in Allen Fieldhouse, but it is a really cool tradition and a process that a lot of KU students have taken part in.